Hey friends, it's Drake Goldie and today I'm going to show you guys my favorite current perfumes and colognes. So this is for the ladies, the men, everything in between. All are welcome here. So uh, let's just get right into it. This is my current favorite, one that I wear every single day. It is the Dolce & Gabbana Devotion. This is very like, it's vanilla, citrus, and I believe there's also another flower note in here. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's like, it's not like a warm vanilla. I describe it as more of like a crisp vanilla, but I definitely get like the little citrus notes. Honestly, it's just a really good blend. And then it has like a D and a G, so I call it the Dre Goldie perfume, honestly. And then for my men, CDG Concrete, okay? This is... The inspiration was wet concrete. I mean, probably not the city. Maybe this is like a suburban wet concrete because it's a really crisp. It's crisp. It's manly, but I feel like it could definitely be like unisex as well. Like it's not too like, okay, because not to hate on like, damn, what's the one that all the guys wear? Is it is it the YSL one? Do you know what I'm talking about? No idea. There's like a, there's a male cologne that kind of gets made fun of. It's like a red flag male cologne. It was really popular. Every guy used Dior to wear Sauvage. it. Dior, it's the Dior. Is it Dior? Sauvage, Dior Sauvage. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I literally just saw TikTok Lip, about that. Really? Yeah, that's funny. Like the Dior Sauvage is incredibly played out. Like it gives frat brother, like we got to retire the Dior Sauvage. So like it was cool for a bit, but then like, all the fragrances that fall under that category, like, they're a bit like, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Like, th this is like this is the direction you want to head in. You want to head in a more crisp, like, mature, not, like, overly manly. Like, that Dior Sauvage is just, like, overpowering. I, I, don't, I don't fuck with the Dior Sauvages, okay? Um, moving on to another lady fragrance. For little, little, another lady fragrance is the Mugle Angel Elixir. I also have the Angel. Angel is a bit too strong for me. They do well together, but I prefer the Elixir 10 times more. I love the packaging too. I'm The packaging is always going to get me as well. This one is like sweet and powdery. I would give it like a mix between cotton candy and like baby powder and like a tad of laundry detergent. Love it. Okay. Another CDG. This one is Wonderwood. And it's like... <laughs> I look so funny in the little glass thingy because it contorts me. But this one is like... Literally what it's called. Wonderwood. Like, it's woodsy. It's masculine. But again, not that over-powery, like, alcoholish. That's what I really like about these. That none of these give that, like strong alcohol undertone my nose is very sensitive and i can smell things at a very amplified level and that's why you just have to trust me on this okay <laughs> all right for the girlies um bright crystal versace this is one of like my older fragrances i'm really stuck on that uh the dolce and gabbana and the angel those are like the two mains and then i also have just to add in as an interlude I do have some perfume dupes. I get my perfume dupes in Mexico because it's like a trusted place. Honestly, their dupes out there stay longer than some of the originals out here. And the dupes that I have are Burberry Her. I love that. It's almost like a feminine Baccarat, like a feminine lighter version of Baccarat. That's how I could explain it. I get a ton of compliments with that one. It turns heads. All of these are head turners for sure. Like this, this is gonna attract somebody to you. Somebody is gonna ask you what you're wearing nine times out of 10. But yeah, I have the dupe to Burberry Her. Like I said, I continue to get the dupe because it lasts longer for some reason. I think it's like a stronger like oil base. Um, but yeah, trusted dupe. And what else do I have a dupe of? I have a dupe of Chanel Chance, the pink one and the green one. And I love both of those. Those are also amazing. Again, I have them duped. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not against the real ones. I just, I found a really good dupe in Mexico. And I just stock up when I go and bring it on over here. 
So it is what it is. Those are two other ones that I that I like a lot. But yeah, the Versace Bright Crystal, fresh, kind of kind of rosy, fresh and rosy is how I would how I would put it. Again, not one that I use too much, but I still do like it. I'll still I'll still honor her. Um, hi friend, where did you go? Where are we? Okay, we're still we're still going. Not your friend, not. It doesn't want to stay anymore. Mm -mm. Oh, there we go. Right. I just can't see shit. Okay. We'll continue. We'll make a cut. We'll, we'll find out. I'm like, I'll do this to continue. Okay. Okay. Another. Oh, it's because when I move the, the things, it moves. Okay. Uh. 10 out of 10 on this one and like extra points for creativity off-white paperwork it's it's such a good blend between like the concrete and the wonder wood it like meets in the middle of those for some odd reason but i'm not gonna question it just again not like that basic man smell like this is something different this is something that you're not gonna smell on a usual basis Oh, I love it. Like, I could drown in it, honestly. And then, um, let's see. Okay. Girl hack. Girl perfume hack. All of the other perfumes that I showed you, of course, are like around upwards of $100, besides my dupes that I do not have present with me right now. But if you are on a budget, go to Zara. Zara has some really good perfumes. I like the Orchid one. She's all reliable. Again, I don't wear it too much, but I still have it just in case, just in case I want to like blend the scents together with something else. But yeah, she's still nice. Zara, Orchid. Again, I mean, those go for like $30, so, you know. Um, What else do we have? Okay, this one actually does not have a label, uh, but it is a man smell. It is Dolce Gabbana Pour Homme for man. Uh, and I love this one. I don't even spray it on, just like, it's like, it, I kind of smell like citrus. It smells like a clean man. And speaking on citrus, so I'm not gonna even say too much about it. That's how I can uh, relate. Yeah, I, I really like this. I really like this. I just discovered that one. Ise Miyake, I love the bottle. The bottle is so cute. And this is also citrusy. And I feel like this is a really good one to blend with other colognes like it's cool on its own but when you blend it with others i feel like it just adds like there's a really a really good layer basically also like citrusy light yeah that's what i have to say about that that's what my bionic nose has to say and just to add in a little bonus one this isn't necessarily a perfume but it is a body oil by tom ford that i actually got like an outlet for the low and i really like um the smell is nice it's kind of it's also kind of like vanilla -y. I'm going to see if the oil shows up on camera it might might not it's like a little bit it's a little bit um bright on there let me see maybe i can get my shoulder but i really like this oil it's like lightweight and not greasy and it has glitter so like again points for that Maybe you'll be able to see on there and I can kind of show you the difference between my shoulders. So yeah, Tom Ford body oil called, man, they're always giving them, you know, the, the, the foreign names. Well, I guess they're home names, but I, I just genuinely can't pronounce it. So the niche, I don't know, but these are like my top five recommendations for men, women, anything in between. You can wear whatever you want no matter who you are so yeah these are these are my favorites and let me know what you think let me know if you own any of these let me let me know what your recommendations are and i can go and test them out i love a good fragrance so thank you guys for watching appreciate you guys love you guys